Praise God. I I honestly believe it. God is speaking. I believe that with all my heart. I appreciate it. You don't know how blessed we are to be under the sound of the voice of the Almighty. And I believe He's present. We are blessed, 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 blessed. I'm going to read a scripture. I'm not going to be here but just a minute. I'm going to read a scripture in uh, John, St. John, chapter 10. It's one we're all so very familiar with. <clears throat> I was struggling with whether I ought to read it or not. I kind of felt like I should. And then I held back until Carl said what he did. And then I, I guess that gave me the faith to at least read it. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's start with verse 25. And Jesus answered them, I told you, and you believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But you believe not, because you are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice. I believe with all my heart, God's voice has been here tonight. And by the authority of God's word here, I stand on the fact that those that are numbered among the sheep have heard his voice. And look what it says next. And it says, I know them. You know, it don't say they know me. But it says, I know them. And the words that he speaks has the power to reach the heart of his elect. Regardless of whether they know him or not. And I'm going to tell you right now, God has been here and I don't believe he wastes his voice. I believe that there are those here tonight that have heard the voice of the Lord. I believe God wants to bring you to a place of surrender. I'll go right back to what Jimmy said on that tape. The hounds of, hell, hounds of heaven are on your trail. I believe they have addressed you. They have spoken directly to you here tonight. And by the authority of God's word, he knows you. And I believe he's spoken to your heart just like Jim said. And it says, and, listen, and they follow. We resist a long time, some of us. I resisted for years. I guarantee most of the people in this church have resisted for years at one time or another. But God kept in his mercy on your trail until the finally, finally, you broke down and said, Lord, I give up. I want what you've got. I want what you can give me. And listen, look at what he gives us. He says, and they follow me. It might take a while. But eventually they'll come to the place where he say, Lord, not my will, but thine be done. And he says, his promise to them is, listen, this is precious, it's wonderful. And I give unto them eternal life. And they shall never perish. He not only says he gives you eternal life, he backs it up by saying, you ain't going to never perish. Is that a promise or is that a promise? Is that something to take to the bank or not? Does that supersede all misery that we have to contend with? And we do have to contend with problems, trials, afflictions. We do have to. But praise God, we got a promise, eternal life. And we shall never perish. We might die, but we're not going to perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my... No man now. No woman either. You can't even pluck yourself out of his hand. He's got you. If, when you surrender, when you finally give up and say, Lord, not my life. I want your life. I want to follow you. I want to do your will. Then he sealed you. And you are sealed not for a day, not for 10 days, not for 10 years, but for eternity. 
My Father which gave them. That's just what Carl's tree. My Father which gave them me is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. Jesus' great hand is around us, protecting us once we surrender. And then the Father's hand is around His. Boy, is that a safe place or not? I know. Listen, I know. And if you think, if you think, well, I've got you in mind. You are wrong. I've got a lot of people in mind. I know of folks come up from Florida. They've been running from God. Listen, God wants you to give up. He wants you to fall down before Him and say, I'm through fighting, Lord. I surrender. Listen, if you will surrender, God will reach down in His love and His compassion and He will save you. God, help us. God, help us. And ain't no good folks here. Jesus is way up here somewhere. We are so far, I can't get down that low. All of us on the same place. We need a Savior. Jesus is our Savior. He can save you to the uttermost. If you'll come to Him and bow before Him.